Nice going, Tex. Did you pass him on the way up there? Pass who? The store. Why don't you quit your kidding me? Lieutenant <laughs> Jones? Radiogram, sir. You read it. Eight and a half pound boy. May I inquire the cause of these acrobatics? I'm sorry, sir. Answer my question, Lieutenant. Uh, perhaps this will explain, sir. Lieutenant Jones, we reach San Diego in 30 days. See that you control your emotions until then. Yes, sir. And, uh, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Shot the main truck for a star. He doesn't know where the deuce we are in the armor cruise at Squadron. Way away was from Here we come, here we come. Looking for sir. Gentlemen, we have with us this afternoon none other than a brand new father. And it's a boy. <laughs> you better pull that chest in a little, or you'll bust out of that uniform. <laughs> My boy, don't expect too much from children. They're a snare and a delusion. Let's oh, get on with our push-up. Tell that to the Marine. Well, don't say I didn't warn you and offer my condolences. <laughs> hey, Tex, you got a name for him? Well, maybe you can pick one out of this. Who's who in the Navy? The names you're called in the Navy are not in that book. <laughs> Jones. You know, Jones is sort of plain. Listen, fellas, since we're all going to be the kids' godfathers, it's our job to think up a fancy first name for them. Come on, fellas, get busy. Let me see. How about Davy Jones? No! Well, there's uh, Casey. Casey? Casey Jones. Oh, he was an engineer. So what? Well, this fellow's going to be a sailor. You bet. That's why Mary and I wanted a boy. Say, how would John Paul Jones be? That's sure giving him a lot to live up to. Well, he'll make the grade all right with the start he's got. <laughs> Why, he's practically born in the Navy. You're right, Tex, he can't miss. Gentlemen, your goblins. Gangway! Right up. Right up. One at a time, take it easy. One at a time. Take it easy. All right, boys, a toast to Midshipman John Paul Jones. Midshipman nothing, Admiral John Paul Jones. Second. <laughs> the boys just at ease. Now take it easy, take it easy. Let's all spell it out. One, two, three. M M M M A A A A B B B B Y Y Y Y. Navy, 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 the Admiral. And that's another reason why I'll be glad to get back to San Diego. Why? Just a ray of sunshine. Why don't you arrange to shoot yourself? Next stop, North Island. Coronado. And San Diego. Yes, sir. San Diego. And all the girls lined up waiting to see me. <laughs> Say, am I boring you guys? Steve, my most intensive study in Annapolis was how to listen to you and hear nothing. And he graduated with honors. Well, anyway, you guys know who's carrying the Admiral at the christening, don't you? Sure I do, but I'm not telling. Wait a minute, Tex. What do you mean? Listen, fellas, that's us. Attention. Flights as listed will take off from this carrier, proceed to, and land at North Island. Yippee! <laughs>
Fred. Are you listening? What's on your mind? It's about the christening. Supposing I was to drop the admiral. Don't worry about that. You just make me head guard, Father, and I'll promise to catch him. It's a deal. This is Lieutenant Bazzard talking. Yeah, the one and only. Listen, when my calls start pouring in, switch him over here. Uh-huh. Modest lad, Lieutenant Bassett. He should go far. Hmm. He will. Too far. Hey, you know this place looks like the Ritz compared to my quarters. Gee, a half a stripe certainly makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, if you'd paid more attention to Navy tactics instead of feminine maneuvers. Come in. Step on it, brother. The taxi's here. Come in right up. Make yourselves at home, boys. Thanks. Let's go. Phil, see that he keeps those calls local. Long distance, please. Don't leer at me. This isn't going to cost Red a cent. I'll say it isn't. Hello, long distance. I'm back. Huh? Lieutenant Bassett calling Santa Barbara. Sure. Get me, uh, fine, 6284. Uh-huh. I want to speak to Miss Alice Stevens. That's right, honey. <laughs> and reverse the charges. Yeah. Oh, you make them pay a cover charge, eh? Barry! Barry! Where are you, Skipper? The fleet's in! I'm sorry I sounded off like that, ma'am. <laughs> the Admiral. <laughs> I guess my wife will have to introduce me to him. I... I'm afraid she can't do that, sir. But why? Oh, just let me see her. Well, they... They took her to the hospital last night. Hospital? Where is she? I've got to help her. I've got to. It's too late. Take it easy, Tex. Are you... Are you telling me the skipper is... But why wasn't I notified? Why? Why? Well, she... She seemed better until last night. And then... Oh, it all happened so suddenly. Dr. West will explain. I guess... no one can explain things like this. <laughs> there just isn't any way. Gordon. Well, good morning, Mr. Harrison. How's the baby? Oh, he's splendid. You look awfully tired. Isn't there something I can do? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Mother will be here soon. She's taking the plane from Santa Barbara. Lieutenant Jones is upstairs. Oh, he's here. All right. Shall I call him? No, I'm taking charge of the baby. be a friend of Lieutenant Jones. Yes, I'm Lieutenant Furness. How do you do? I'm Bernice Farrington. Oh, Mary's sister. Yes. I'm awfully sorry. Tex is taking it pretty hard. I should think he would. I know how you people feel about Tex, but he really doesn't deserve it. Then why wasn't he here when she needed him? Well, he had to be away. That's his job. 
But why didn't you notify him? We didn't know. We didn't even know about the baby until this morning. You mean you hadn't seen Mary? Not since she was married. I see. I can't understand it. Mary had everything she wanted at home, and she left us for her. I guess she loved Tex and wanted to be happy. Maybe she was a little proud. Proud? Of a uniform? Miss Farrington, oh, I... Oh, I know. I've shocked you. You wear one, too. But I'm afraid it fails to impress me. But, Miss Farrington... I'm oh... going to see that this baby has everything that my sister didn't seem to want. Hadn't you better tell all this to Tex? Perhaps you'd better. I'll be back later. He's got here. He'll go places. It's just the two of us now, young fellow. It's up to me to keep you steering a straight course. Well, it's head godfather. Or I ought to be counted in. I'll need your help. Plenty. Uh, Mary's sister was here, and she's coming back. This is my boy, Red. And if they aim to take him away from me... Well, how uh, can they? They'll try sure as shooting, I know. They're gonna have a fight on their hands. We'll lick him, Sailor. I've got to go to Mary. I have to see her. Will you stay here and... take care of the Admiral? Hadn't I better trail along? No, please. I'd rather be alone. The enemy fleet, Admiral. I guess that's our signal to take off. Women and children were not allowed? You two know all the questions, don't you? Well, it's Texas, baby, and they're trying to take it away from him. Who? His wife's folks. I promised Texas I'd guard the Admiral, and they zoomed down on us. Here we are. Listen, Eliza. 
When you were crossing the ice, did it dawn on you this is bachelor quarters? What'll we do if he cries? He can't cry. He's too young. Oh, well. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, come on. Hey, you take it. No, you don't. Well, come on, you take it. Somebody hold him, will you? Hey, see. Do something. Make some noise. Away, away, away. away, away. Run, run, run. Here, here we come, come, here we come. Okay, Look okay. Put on the run. Did you get it? Sure, I get you. Thanks, Francis. Come on. Tell your wife I won't forget. Oh, no. She not forget, too. Spares for Agnila. Oh, oh. Here you are, Bill. It's your turn. Put on a new tire. Oh, me? Why, well, I, I, I don't want to. Come on, I'll jack him up. Don't fold it like that. Here, you're crazy. You're supposed to make it into a triangle. That's last year's model. You got too much left over. Why don't you tuck it in on the side? Darn these pins. There doesn't seem to be enough of them. Maybe you can sew it up on the side. And you couldn't get it off. Gee, I wish they'd make them with zippers. Yeah, you what? i fix them. All right, that now. Let's go. Well, what's the next move? I'll get my car, find text, and let him know I've got the baby. Maybe that's him now. Hello? Yes? What? She's still trying to get Santa Barbara. <laughs> well, you can't roll a girl off for trying. Now, listen, you two stay here and don't let anybody in. Especially the Secretary of the Navy. Ah, I'll take that one. Hello? What? Emergency hospital. She must have fainted. All right, hold the line. It's for you, Red. Hello? Yes? He's what? I'll be right over. What's up, Red? Tex, he's been hurt. An accident. You two hold the fort and I get back. Any guy dumb enough to walk smack into a car. Just when he's needed most. What is it, Tex? I want them to hear this. Bob, my boy. Red, I'm counting on. Take care of him. You keep him somehow. That sailing order. Was it serious? Fellas, he, he just bailed out. Bailed out? He walked in front of a car. They said he seemed dazed. I should have gone with him. I wanted to. Oh, you did what I asked, Red. You stuck by the kid? Yeah. That's what I've got to keep on doing. I gave Tex my word. The Farringtons are not going to take him. Well, you crazy man. Of course they'll take him. They'll try. They've got to find him first. You can't get away with it. You can't take care of a baby. I don't intend to, but, but my aunt can. Aunt Minnie. Right. I phoned her from town. She's on her way out here now. Boy, Red, I still think you're crazy, but being a bit screwy myself, I want to be cut in on this deal. Thanks, Steve. Well, I ought to be eligible. I was dropped on my head when I was young. You're in. Boys, look. Now that we're all in on this, we should consider the possible consequences, the legal aspects. Ah, the silver tongue sea lawyer. If I understand the matter correctly, Tex put the Admiral in Red's hands. Are there any witnesses? Yeah. An intern and a nurse. Fine. That makes you his legal guardian. 
In this case, possession is nine points of the law. What's the ten? I'm coming to that. We've got to keep possession. If the Farringtons get hold of that baby... They're not going to. Hello. Thanks, operator, and listen. If you can't get Miss Alice Stevens for Lieutenant Bassett, any good number will do. Sir, Mrs. and Miss Farrington and Mrs. Strickland. Show them right in. Aye, right, sir. How do you do, Miss Farrington? How do you do, Admiral Kingston? May I present my mother? And Mrs. Strickland, our attorney. We've met before, Mrs. Farrington. Really? Mm. I'd quite forgotten. Living in Coronado so long, one meets all sorts of... Uh, <laughs> Admirals. Yeah. Yes, it must be quite disconcerting. <laughs> Would you uh, sit down? Thank you. I was extremely sorry to hear of the double tragedy in your family. Sir, we are here on serious business connected with this um, regrettable affair. I see. It's relative to Lieutenant Jones' baby. Baby? Yes, he's joined the Navy. I'm afraid I don't understand. When I last saw the baby, he was in my sister's home with Lieutenant Furness. And when Miss Farrington returned, they were both gone. I have every reason to believe that he was brought here. And it's no place for any baby. That is, I mean, with, with all the guns and things. Some mistake. The idea of Lieutenant Furness making off with a baby is uh, rather ridiculous. Would it be possible for you to take us to his quarters? I'd like to see for myself. Well, it's somewhat irregular, but uh, if you prefer it. Notify Lieutenant Furness, I'm bringing two ladies to his quarters. I assure you, the presence of a baby in bachelor quarters would be more upsetting to me than to you. What? Bringing them here? Okay. Hey, Red, Red, the old man and two ladies are on their way over. They've traced me. You probably left a trail of safety pins all the way here. Yeah, but what are we going to do? Steve, get out of the gate in my car and wait for Aunt Min. Oh, me? Gee, I'm expecting a phone call. Snap to it. Bill, get in there with the Admiral and keep him from howling. Look, I'll wait for Aunt Min. I'm no good with babies. Bass it is. Wait, Bill. Tell her what's up. If everything's quiet, she's to wait. And if, and if she has good judgment to use it. Here, try these. Away, away with sword and drum. Here we come, here we come. Looking for something to put on the run. The armored cruiser squadron. The navigator is the tar. He shot the mason for a star. That's well. Now just eat his bottle. I can't. He's got my thumb in his mouth. Hey, lock the door. Okay. Come in. At ease, Lieutenant. This is not uh, exactly an official visit. Uh, Mrs. Farrington, Miss Farrington and uh, Mr. Strickland, permit me to present Lieutenant Furness. Oh, uh, I've, I've met Miss Farrington, but, but uh, not Mrs. Farrington. I'm her mother. Oh, uh, not really. Yes, indeed. Why, uh, I can hardly believe it. She's also the baby's grandmother, Lieutenant Furness, and we've come for him. My dear Miss Farrington, uh, Aren't you jumping at conclusions? Benny's, don't be so jumpy. Lieutenant? Excuse me. I guess it's uh, nothing important. I'll take that. Oh, Colonel, if that's the newspapers, don't read the word. Hello? What's that? I 
said don't weaken Toots. I'm still trying to get that hot number. Lieutenant, do you deny all knowledge of this baby? No, sir. Uh, I saw the baby in Lieutenant Jones's bungalow. With your permission, sir, I should like to question the lieutenant. Certainly. Go right ahead. Your motives are no doubt sincere, but I don't believe you realize how uh, inadvisable they are. In keeping this baby away from its rightful custodians, you place yourself in jeopardy before the civil laws. But we are willing to drop the matter and take no action if you will restore the baby to uh, Mrs. Farrington. Well, uh, if I haven't got the baby, uh, then you can't very well, uh, mm. you know... Uh, I am afraid we will have to take action. Young man, I've done my best to warn you, but... Away, away with Lord Drum. Here we come, here we come. Looking for something to put on the run. The armor cruiser squad run. The navigator is a diary. Shut the main truck for us, Admiral, will you please ask Lieutenant Furness to open this door? Open the door, Furness. Steve, are you dressed? No! They froze the face to me and cut my eye. See, Miss Farrington? Yes, I see. Round one for you, Lieutenant. Thank you, Admiral Kingston. And I'm terribly sorry to have wasted your time. Don't mention it, Miss Farrington. Come, Mother, we'll run along. Goodbye, Major. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Farrington. So glad to have met you. Goodbye. You're a very charming young man. <laughs> Be charming enough to see me later, young man. I was afraid of that. Speaking off the record for a moment, just what is this baby business? All I can tell you, sir, is that I made a promise to Tex, and I'm not going to break it. It may break you, son. Watch your step. Lieutenant Furness, my advice is to avoid anything that may lead to trouble with the Navy or the civil authorities. That's all. Thank you, sir. can't take legal steps until we prove that Furness has the baby. I can't believe it. He's such a nice young man. What would you suggest, Mr. Strickland? Well, uh, we might have him shadowed. The police? Oh, no, I just can't bear notoriety. It always reminds me of the time that I... I mean, reporters are such horrid. It wouldn't do any good to shadow him. I think I know a better way. Well, my dear? Yes, Bernice, do say something. Well, the man just doesn't seem to scare. Suppose you let me handle him. No, I won't have you vamping the Navy. Outmaneuver is the nautical term. Not in any term. Hey, let him see this maneuver. Bath tubs for soap and water. Okay, Min, but the, an admiral's got to have a fleet, doesn't he? Sure, to keep his young officers entertained. All right, but he's got to learn about boats, and the sooner the better. How's this for the captain's bridge? If he's grown up before he gets a chance to use all those, better trace some of them in on a razor. Well, a man of his rank needs a lot of equipment. 
And this is my contribution. <laughs> Who ever heard of an admiral with dolls? We better keep his mind on ships. Maybe you're right. Say, Red, any news in the front? Only good news, General. The enemy's still flying blind. Flying at all is too good for them. I hope they never land on us. Hungry again. I gotta go fix his chow. Shh. Hi, Agnes. Here, here. Big man's mustn't cry. That wasn't me. <laughs> Go on, you're doing great. <laughs> Try uh, ugly wuggly wuggly. Ugly wuggly. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I know. You're going to be a bad influence. Thanks, and you? Well, uh, I'm in trouble. How nice. Anything I can do? Well, please, lady, it's a long walk to North Island. <laughs> <laughs> I've been warned about sailors, but I'm going to Coronado. How will that do? Swell. I have to be on the field in a half hour for maneuvers. Hop in. This will fix me up fine. I hope so. It's funny my car should break down so expertly. Don't cars always do a good job of breaking down? Yes, but they usually do it uh, inconveniently. Why, you don't think that... Oh, of course not. I'm grateful fate sent you along in a 12-cylinder car. What are these maneuvers you're having to hurry back for? Oh, just several hours of formation flying. Routine. You know, I'd like to learn how to fly sometime. Oh, sure. Just take it up some afternoon. When you've nothing else to do. Oh, seriously? <laughs> well, first you get a plane. Oh, that's easy getting the right instructor that counts. Well, there's plenty of those here. Taxi drivers. I'd want an expert like you. Is that an offer? I'll make it bribery if you'll do it. Uh, I don't bribe. But you do fly. I also get out of air pockets. Then maybe you can teach me how to get out of them. I'm tempted. You're hired. I'll explain it to you. When you uh, pull it toward you, the plane nose is up. When you uh, push it forward, the plane nose is down. How interesting. And if you uh, want to bank to the right, you throw the stick to the right. If you want to bank to the left, you throw the stick to the left. It's all very simple. Oh, I see. You mean like this? What we do to cadets when they get too smart? We clunk them. I'm awfully sorry. And she said to me, what's your favorite drink? And I said, don't tell me, let me guess. No, you couldn't. I said, a tall glass of practically anything. <laughs> Boy, wouldn't that kill you? It will in time. Hiya, fellas. Oh, whatever you're selling, I'll have some of that. It's all right what she said. Well, she said to I me, I know. 
On your call to Santa Barbara, I'm still ringing them. All right, wise guy. Maybe you can tell us why all the flying lessons for the Farrington female. Well, he's practicing nosedive, so he'll know how to take one. A nosedive every day for two weeks? What's she doing here, Red? She's not kidding me for a minute. It's all a game. Part of her plan to get the Admiral. But it's for me falling for Steve, her. Steve, tell your joke. It's sure. funnier. She said to me, what's your favorite uh, joke? I never dreamed flying could be so thrilling. All this beautiful air. But you must keep your eyes on the road. Maybe I should have learned to run an elevator. Oh, no, not that yet. That requires genius. <laughs> I don't see anything so clever about going through space in a straight line for miles and miles. Say, I, I thought you wanted to fly. Well, I do. I want to learn to do tailspins, loops, and barrel rolls. Oh, well, that'll come later. Red. Yes? I was wondering if you'd do something for me. Oh, sure, anything. Do you really mean anything? Well, most anything. I wanted to ask you... Yes? If you'd tell me where the, where baby, the baby is. is. I've been expecting you to ask me that, Miss Barrington, but it's no dice. And it's too bad for you, Lieutenant. your license. Sorry, officer. Was I speeding? Worry, I have one. Mister, will you teach me how to fly? You certainly played me for a sap. I haven't even started. Well, you've gone far enough. We're turning back. Oh, no, we're not. Not until you tell me where the baby is. Take your hands off that stick. I won't. I'm going to keep right on flying until you tell me where the baby is. I think I told you what we do to cadets who freeze to the stick, didn't I? Passport, sister. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. sight every minute. Good, I'm counting on you. Okay. What's his name? Casey. Oh, no, the lieutenant. Oh, Steve Bassett. What? Oh, that's terrible. What a name. Steve. Steve. <laughs> you know, it's going to take courage. I pulled with that. Well, that'll help. What other tools will I need? Just use your most devastating smile. I think that'll do. Think. Darling, when I smile, they faint. <laughs> All set. Uh-huh. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, let's man the lifeboats. Heaven help the sailors on a night like this. Always cheerful, huh? Eh? Oh, hello there. Good evening, Bernice. Bernice. So it's come to that, eh? Oh, you're just jealous, Bill. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll try to fix up a dance with her for you. Oh, big hearted, aren't you? Well, I'm not dancing. Well, what are you doing here? I'm just getting them all out of my dress uniform. I wouldn't dance with the best looking girl in the place. Why, Gwendolyn. Good evening. Oh, Lieutenant. How nice to see you. I was just telling Lieutenant Lyons what a divine dancer you are. May I present him? Oh, Lieutenant, I hope you'll agree with him. Uh, this is the Admiral's niece, Miss Kingston. Oh, Red, don't make it sound so official. I'm just plain Gwendolyn. You're anything but plain Gwendolyn. How sweet of you. Just for that, I ought to dance with you all evening. Red, you lamb! 
saved this dance for you. Why, I've been looking everywhere and I couldn't find you. Come on, let's dance. Hey, bartender, two more kiss me quicks. I'll take the same. Commander, would you excuse me for a moment? Of course. Where is he? Right over there with Rosalie Ames. <laughs> and what did you say? I said, gentlemen, I can't accept it. Big as my chest is, there's no more room for any more medals. <laughs> Couldn't you pin it on your head? Mmm, not bad. Not bad at all. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Listen, they're going to announce the leap year dance soon. Now, don't let him out of your sight and get rid of Rosalie. Don't worry, darling. I'll take care of that. <laughs> Mrs. Paddleton, allow me to introduce uh, Lieutenant Bassett. How do you do, How do, you do Mrs. Paddleton? Paddleton? The Leap Year Blues, dedicated to the ladies. Girls, cut in and get your man. Leap Year. I'm proposing. <laughs> That you dance with me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Pendleton, but it's my turn now. Oh, I hate to lose him. <laughs> but I'll get another one. I'm Daphne Ross. Do you mind? Oh, not as a rule, but I'll mind you. <laughs> I've seen you before, Lieutenant. Well, I do get about. I remember you at Annapolis. Way back when you were a fullback. That far back, honey, I was a halfback. Oh, <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> Do you mind, Commander? Yes, but you go ahead. <laughs> this is our dance, Lieutenant. Oh, so this is Leap Year. Mm-hmm. Suppose we call a truce, just for one evening. with the Admiral's niece. Lieutenant Lyon! You darling! We're just in time for the dance. Oh, you're such a perfect dancer, Lieutenant. Well, as Lieutenant, I can just about shuffle around, but if you were to call me Steve. Steve? Why, that's my favorite name. Something for you? Uh, do you think a champagne cocktail would hurt me? Mm -mm, not while I'm here to protect you. A champagne cocktail. I'll make mine a stop and soap. Aren't you going to live up to that truce? Sure. What do you want me to do? Well, you needn't look so angry. <laughs> That's better. But, Red, you were angry. No. What makes you think that? Well, not exactly a delicate hint. You have no idea how I hated doing it. I'm sorry. Does it still hurt? A little. But you could make it well for me. Oh, now, Bernice, wait a minute. Oh, I... you have no sense of romance. After all, there is a moon. I expect you've heard everything that's to be said in the moonlight. You know, we've flown for hours and hours together. And you've never even tried to make love to me. Do you expect that from every man you're alone with? Well, they usually do. That's because they don't love you. I do. Well, darling... Well, that isn't going to help matters. You're too spoiled and too rich. And anyway, I'm in the Navy. You could get out of the Navy. I could, but I won't. I don't think you understand how I feel about my job. I'll explain it. Ooh, my head's all swimming. So's mine. What do you suppose is the matter with us? Here. 
We need air. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> we need air. Never mind that order. Let's go for a ride, huh? We're going for a ride. <laughs> Every year is the time. Light at night has no good in it. Porcine, <laughs> no oh. Oh, no, you go first. <laughs> you go first, Stevie. No, no, no. You go first. No, you go first. <laughs> no, no, you go first. No, no, no. Follow. So that's why it sort of gets in your blood. When it does, it it stays there. And I thought soldiering was just a game. It is a game, but a swell one. And I suppose you all feel that way. Yes, generally up to the finish. Like Tex, that's why he wanted his boy brought up by Navy men. Red. If you found I'd done something cheap and unfair, what would you do? Well, I can't make a habit of socking you on the chin. Will you wait here for me a moment? I've got to find someone. Where is she? Miss Ross, I mean. Oh, she went out with the lieutenant for a little air. Oh, dear. Anything wrong? No. It's working perfectly. <laughs> Too perfectly. I know. Let's think of all the people we don't like the most. All right. You start. Well, I don't like policemen. Check, so do I. And I don't like crooners. Mm. I don't like crooners. Fierce. Ooh, <laughs> I got a swell one. Bernie Farrington. I hate her the best. Oh, we're still even. So do I. You know her? No, but I don't like her distant. Oh, I heard something that tickled me, Stevie. What tickled you, Daffy? Well, I heard that some officers kidnapped Bernice's baby nephew. Shanghai'd him. That's what we did. Who did? I did. I was one of the officers. Oh, Stevie. <laughs> is he, is he cute? Hmm? Who says he's cute? <laughs> he's cuter than any baby anybody ever saw anywhere. Any time. Well, see and believe it. Let me see him, Stevie. She don't like the fern. <laughs> Did you wake me up in the middle of the night to tell me that? Well, you just out ringing doorbells. No, no, no. I want to show her the Admiral. Well, you can't, and that's that. Oh, yeah. Many, many, many. Just one little peek. Steve Bassett, you take your girlfriend and scram. Or am I too subtle? What's the idea? Where's the baby? Say, what is this, a convention? There's no baby here. Okay, lady, then it won't do any harm to take a look. Steve Bast. Oh, gee, Aunt Minnie, I didn't know they were with us. Don't talk to me, you Judas. Honest, I thought that they... With what? You either sold us out or you left this. My dear lady. Don't give me that or I'd be giving you this. Break it up, girls. Break it up. 
Well, let's drink up and then go. What say? I can't leave. I'm expecting a message. Oh, important? <laughs> Something I'm apt to be sorry for the rest of my life. Red, I've got to tell you about it. Telephone call for you, Lieutenant. Oh, thanks. You can take it here, sir. Oh, thank you. Hello? <laughs> Lieutenant Turner speaking. Hello? Oh, hello, Steve. Where are you? What? The Admiral? But Steve? I'll be right over. Something cheap, huh? You said it. Red, listen. When I left you in the garden, I tried to find Daphne, but she was gone. I'm so sorry. What's the difference? Now. I'm taking you every game this week. When are you going to pull yourself together? When we join the fleet. Can I count on that? Eleven in the corner. I wonder why they sent the Saratoga up north ahead of us. I don't know, maybe San Francisco's threatened with rock oysters. One in the corner. Probably some deep, dark secret of the Admirals. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Red. I... Gee, I'd sure like to see the kid before we leave. So would I. Boys, I've been out on the scout patrol. I stalked that Daphne dame to her lair, and boy, did I tell her off, you know? She kind of likes me at that. Anyway, she told me he's in the hospital. Who? The Admiral. He isn't very sick, but he's sick. In the hospital for his health, I see. What hospital? The children's hospital. You think they'd send him to the old man's home? Thanks, Steve. That's all I wanted to know. Yes? I've come to inquire about the Farrington baby. How is he? Just under observation. Oh. Uh, could I see him? I'm afraid not. We have instructions that nobody's to see him. But... I'm, I'm sorry. Red. What is it? What's wrong with the Admiral? Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Well, why did you put him in here? Doctor thought it best. He's upset. After all, he has been pushed around quite a bit for a little fellow. He needs rest and quiet. Oh, is that it? I don't imagine you'd let me see him. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that. Doctor's orders. But I will keep you posted. Unfortunately, I won't be here. I'm taking off in a half hour to join Saratoga. For long? Ten months. Oh. I'll... I'll miss you, Red. Will you remember that? Yes, I'll remember it. All the way out to the 12-mile limit. I know she put him here, and I got a right to see him. Mr. Beasy, I tell you, your baby is not here. You're lying. You leave at once, or I'll call the police. Okay, lady. Good morning, Miss Farrington. Good morning. You seem to be having a bit of trouble. Just an anxious father. Pardon me. Uh, the Simpson baby will be going home today. Make out the bill, please. Did Miss Brown come in? I'll see. Oh, Miss Smith! What is it? Oh, it's terrible, terrible! Quiet! The Farrington baby's gone. What? Our oh, baby. Well, what do you mean? Please. Compose yourself and tell us what happened. Well, I was just coming on duty. I saw two men going toward the rear stairs with a baby. Then Blake screamed and I ran into the nursery. Blake came running out calling that the Farrington baby wasn't in his crib. How did the men get in? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I was in the diet kitchen fixing the bottles. And, and when I got back to the nursery, I found this in the baby's bed. Well, what does it say? Why, VZ kept arguing in my office. Well, do something. Call the police. Get huh? Dr. Butler. Yes. You go back to your floor. I'm going for help. I'll be back. Call the police. Connect them with my office. Looks like you, VZ. 
Sure. He is kind of good looking at that. Come in. Oh, Red. Red, I'm so glad I caught you. Something terrible's happened. The baby's been stolen. What do you mean, stolen? He's gone. They took him from the hospital. I came straight here to you for help. You've got to help Red. How did it happen? Who did it? Joe Veasy. You mean the... Yes. Have the police been notified? Yes, they have. Police headquarters. How did it happen? Right after you left the hospital. Uh, this is Lieutenant Furness at the Naval Air Station. Any trace of the Farrington baby? Have you got the description? Brown high wing monoplane, number 12H45. Number 12H45, thanks. <coughs> Beezy's taking a plane. He's heading north. I'm going after him. Can you get permission? I'll have to go without permission. I'll contact the North Island radio station. You check there. Check there. I'll be there. I notified the police. I wonder who this guy is. San Bernardino calling VF 401. San Bernardino calling VF 401. Okay, San Bernardino. VF 401. Brown high wing monoplane as described flew over the city 20 minutes ago. Headed due north. Too high to check number. Okay, San Bernardino. Thanks. San Bernardino give somebody our course. Maybe it's the coppers. So what? With the fast ship we got, there ain't no coppers going to catch us. Order Lieutenant Furnace to return immediately and report to headquarters, AWOL. Oh, but Captain... Oh, is this station AWOL? It certainly is. North Island calling, VF-401. North Island calling. VF-401, okay, North Island. Song, Captain. Lieutenant Furnace, return to this post immediately and report to headquarters. I repeat, Lieutenant. Return to this post immediately and report to headquarters. Lieutenant Furness. Lieutenant? I'm sorry, sir. We've lost him. 245, just flew over Santa Barbara. Course 295. Altitude approximately 2500. See, we're being spotted every inch of the way. Maybe we better duck east. Stick on your course. I'll do the tinker. High wing monoplane, Brown, 12845, course 317. Santa Maria. San Jose calling VF 401. San Jose calling VF 401. High wing monoplane just ahead of you, about three miles. Course 296. He's gaining on us. San Jose tipped him off. He's only three miles behind. Here. Take a look back there. Approximately 30 miles south of San Francisco. Say, where are you? 
All squadrons from North Island flew in 15 minutes ago. I've got to talk to the Admiral. It's a case of life and death. Okay, stand by. I think he's heading for the Canadian border. I can keep on his tail, but there's nothing I can do to stop him without endangering the baby. Get his position. What's your position? Passing over San Francisco in about five minutes. Course 296. Airspeed 150. Altitude 2500. Lieutenant Furness is absent without official leave. He's taken a government plane without orders. Tell Commander Saunders to take off immediately and place him under arrest. Hold him at North Island until I arrive. Yes, sir. And, uh, Lieutenant. Tell Saunders to take five men with him. Lieutenant Furness seems to be in uh, trouble. His plane, you understand. <clears throat> the, uh, the government can't afford to risk a loss. That's all. Yes, sir. Attention ready room. Emergency flight report to the flying deck. The Navy's still with us. We ought to reach the border in a couple hours. You think he'll cross? I don't know. If he tries to land when we do, he's crazy. Can you make out who they are? Navy planes? Hey, there's something wrong. Say, maybe this kid ain't mine. Calling Lieutenant Furness. Calling Lieutenant Furness. Lieutenant Furness, entry Commander Saunders. Hold your position at all times. We'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Saratoga, go ahead. Flight from Saratoga forced down Vesey's plane. Recovered Farringdon baby. Returning to North Island. Have civilian police stand by to take charge of prisoners. That is all. Okay, Saratoga. Oh, and many did it. Yeah. Single-handed, with the aid of the Navy. We are taking off of the Saratoga by plane in 15 minutes. So I'll come to the point quickly. For several weeks, Lieutenant Jones' baby has caused me more trouble than my official duties. One of the Saratoga's most able officers is in serious difficulty. My office has been used as a courtroom. And today, the naval air fleet had to fly all over the Pacific coast, acting as a nursemaid. Now I demand that some final disposition be made of this baby. I'm willing to undertake the job, Admiral. Young lady, what have you to say to this suggestion? Oh, we approve. Don't we, Red? 
Yes, sir. <clears throat> We're going to bring the boy up in the Navy. Oh, yes. We're going to send him to West Point. You see, Admiral, when we're married, he'll sort of put me in the Navy, too. Just a minute, young lady. This young man may not be in the Navy very long. Oh, but you can't do that. You must let him go with the fleet. Why, he saved the baby. I'll consider it. Admiral, you're terrific. Lieutenant, we're taking off in a few minutes. Kindly step outside. With Miss Farrington. Thank you, sir. Let's tend the Admiral. What? Oh, not you, Skipper. The baby. 